Snowpack is water stored for later, and the more snowpack we have, we're more likely to keep our streams flowing and our taps going through the summer. But these pictures give a sense for what's happening now. The snow on the ground has shrunk a bit. The snow-free trees, a testament to dry conditions since the beginning of March. Our snowpack could use a boost. It's going to take some pretty good moisture, I feel, uh, to bring us back up to par and, and kind of finish off this season where we should be. Scott Petty has tracked snowpack for decades in the Cascades. He works for the National Resources Conservation Service, part of the USDA. And this is where we stand. Snowpack in the light green on much of the western Cascades has dropped about 10% in two weeks, from a high in the 90% range to the high 80s. Near the Canadian border, it's pretty much near normal. In the lower Yakima Basin, it's at 67%. This before, but this time of year, pr pretty much every day that we do not receive moisture in the mountains, preferably in the form of snow, we fall behind. The hope is that the coming atmospheric river will get things closer to normal by April 1st, a benchmark date for when our snowpack typically will stop building. That doesn't give us more than a few more weeks. Petit's other concern, if that precipitation comes down as rain, it really doesn't help much. It just runs off at places like Snoqualmie Pass. The sites that really count, which is all the mid-elevation stuff that really provides our water supplies for us, whether it be irrigation on the east side or municipal water over here on the west side. And then there's this. A year ago, snowpack was abundant, running as high as 157% above normal at the end of last March. But by the end of June, much of that snowpack was being flushed down river by temperatures well over 100. Even SeaTac hit 108, a freak occurrence nobody wants to see happen again. And those kinds of events have consequences. And one of those consequences last summer was a record number of wildfire starts here in Washington State. Live at Snoqualmie Pass, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.